you can go. Oh, I think it's you. Oh my God, it is me. I'm sorry. <laughs> you want to start over or could, should I screw it up? All right, everyone. Yeah, so we were just talking. Okay. Hi, welcome to Friends in Fiction Behind the Book. For a New York Times bestselling author, endless stories and people like me who screw things up. I'm Kristen Harmel. <laughs> And I'm Christy Woodson Harvey. And on behalf of all four authors of Friends of Fiction, including Mary Kate Andrews and Patty Callahan Henry, Kristen and I are so excited to welcome you to a special episode of Friends and Fiction Behind the Book, where we have a quicker deep dive into the life and work of one of our favorite authors or two. Two, exactly. So today we are thrilled to welcome Christina McMorris, one of our very favorites, who was actually on the Zoom where we cooked up the idea for Friends and Fiction nearly four years ago. Right. So she has been a great friend to all of us and to so many other writers. And we know that so many of you out there love her too. So Christina is the New York Times, Wall Street Journal, and USA Today bestselling author of numerous novellas and novels, including The way we Hi the Ways We Hide, The Edge of Lost, and Sold on a Monday, which has sold over a million copies. Wow. It's amazing. Yeah. But today we are <laughs> doubly lucky because we have not only Christina joining us, but also her super talented sister, Amanda Yoshida. The two of them have teamed up to create Ellie Mae Dreams Big, an absolutely delightful picture book written by Christina and illustrated by Amanda. So welcome, you two. Thank you so much. Good to be here. Do you, you realize I was, as you were doing the intro, I'm like, oh my goodness, you realize the three Christies are together again. <laughs> oh, that's I right. I thought about that. Right. Right. Remember our band? Oh, oh yeah. All we need is Mary Alice. Huh? Amanda, Amanda is playing the role today. Yes. No. So Christy. instead of Mary Alice and the Christies, it's Amanda. Amanda and I want to be included too. She <laughs> looks like she's in a band, right? She's I mean, like, she's absolutely looks like she's the lead singer. She's <laughs> obviously the lead singer, and we're just her back. The exactly. three of us. Yeah. <laughs> and the rock is in green. Oh, the tambourine. <laughs> We'll both the we'll share the tambourine. I, I, I know it's weird. It's just going to be a tambourine band with all four of us. <laughs> a triangle, you guys. <laughs> the band That's true. Thing. That is true. Kazoo, a little kazoo. All right. Okay. Christina and Amanda, um, I, as much as I would love to plan our big future rock tour, <laughs> we also have to talk about Ellie Made Dreams Big, which is a unique twist on the standard, what do you want to be when you grow up question. Can you tell us a little bit about the book and what makes it so different and fun? Of course, absolutely. And because I have, we're so excited to have an actual copy of Yay! Beautiful. I love it. Especially when it's so visual like this, it's so fun to see it as a finished copy with all her gorgeous artwork it. in here. So a little bit about this little girl named Ellie Mae. She is a girl who, as many parents can relate to, has a very hard time making decisions. So when she is asked, what do you want to be when you grow up? Come dressed as your favorite choice to school. This is endlessly challenging because she wants to be so many things like an astronaut and a chef. And then she remembers the moon is made of cheese. So she <laughs> going to take a big slice out of it and make the best galactic grilled cheese sandwiches in the universe, which thanks to my sister here, her thinking she's going to build a fly through instead of a drive through for the aliens. <laughs> so from there, she keeps mashing careers together until, and by the way, they're things like a pirate dentist and a ballerina painter and a candy farmer. And then she uh, will have to make a decision at the end. And we hope that choice will surprise the readers as much as it does her classmates. Oh, I love Aww. that. I love that so much. Okay, so big question. What was it like to collaborate on a project like this? And can you kind of walk us through the process of working together because not only are you working together with like a fellow creative person but you're working together with your sister <laughs> ah, sure so I'll, I'll take this one so oh I, oh get oh get right <laughs> <laughs> it is horrible it was the worst thing that's ever happened to me i'm still trying to recover from the trauma we are not in therapy right now even though <laughs> <it's not laughs> Wait, wait, that's, that's tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> the pure joy. All day long. <laughs> Uh, so I'm an illustrator and my sister is, as, as you said, a, an amazing historical fiction writer, but she always wanted to write a picture book. So I asked if she would collaborate with me on this project. And I think collaboration is the word, like it was pure collaboration um, of giving her my thoughts and feelings uh, when it comes to the word choices and the flow. And she was always so receptive to it. And with the art, she always had such good ideas or, take it this direction, what about this, add this. And it always meant 
a lot more time. <laughs> so that was tough. I'm like, <laughs> you are correct, but that's well like, more hours of work. <laughs> <laughs> and we made it too. <laughs> it's like my side. She's like, what about tweaking this word? I'm like, done. done. Two seconds later. <laughs> Hers is like starting over. <laughs> like, what if you added in pirate ships? You know, yeah. it's like, okay, I agree with you, but I hate you at the same time. I mean, we like to say, you know, just how you can't travel, right? With every friend. Yeah. <laughs> like we actually made it through together and um, we're, we're traumatized, but... <laughs> It's been, it's actually so fun. We had so much fun doing it. It really was amazing. And we're thrilled because it is a two book contract. So it'd be a real bummer. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Again. Doing it either way. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love this is something, I love that this is something you're doing together. Like just what a cool sister bonding thing. I, I love yeah. that so much. Um, so, you know, Amanda, I know from Christina, uh, from talking to her, that it was important to you both to create a character who looked Asian, but not necessarily in an Asian specific story. Um, Amanda, can you talk a little bit about that and how you hope that impacts readers? Why was that so important to you? And, and what does that mean? Yeah, absolutely. So when I was little, I loved picture books. Uh, it's actually why I started drawing in the first place. And I had stacks and stacks of them. Uh, but I never felt like I was being visually represented in those books. So it was really important to me on this project to celebrate diversity and also to, to just create a book that little Amanda would have loved to have read. read. I love that. What do you hope readers take away from that? How do you hope it impacts readers? Oh, just celebration of all the different colors and shapes and sizes and yeah that we're all just beautiful and unique and i love that thank you yeah that's really important to me with this and i think we did a good job of accomplishing well, and i think that's such an important thing to show our children in picture books too you know what i mean like yeah. you want them to show up for the story but to walk away with like an important message that shapes them into a better human being and it sounds like you know that's a that's a piece of that here which i think is really important yeah and okay, this is with the, I was just say with the careers and stuff too, you know, what she, what she dreams about becoming is about dreaming big and thinking outside the box and, and outside of the stereotypical careers that you would think for a person. So that it goes along with the same lines. I love that. Well, we're huge fans of this question anyway, but when we have a pair of sisters on this stage, we really have to ask this one. So what were the values around reading and writing in your home when you were growing up? Oh, well, I mean, I, we, I loved picture books for sure. No question. When I'm asked like, what is, what's your, one of your favorite books? And I'm giving tree comes to mind all the time. And it's so yes. interesting, right? Because we, so that was such a, it's, isn't it interesting as parents? I know this, we're all parents here. Um, how differently we saw that as a kid versus yes. now. And as you reread it as an adult and, yes. and how it has a completely different meaning. And I love that. So I think that's super beautiful about, especially picture books that we don't realize the messages that we're getting. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, we, we yeah. all read in the house. Oh yeah. And, and she's a lip, she's a little bit older than me. I won't say how much. <clears throat> I don't want to do well, that. <laughs> this is 29. I don't know. Like, so, yeah. so I actually, I remember her reading to me from a very young age because she was, she was further along in her reading skills. And I remember her reading all the fairy tales and Shel Silverstein and all this stuff. Oh my gosh. It was always around. Yeah. Yes. And the artwork and the picture books. Yeah. 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 That is That's so great. Nice. Could you ever have imagined when you were kids that you'd one day be teaming up on a project like this together? No, goodness, no. No, it's just a dream that we just live every day. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, for sure. No, we never would have thought of that. I mean, this is so cool about it. When she was, and I, I can vouch for this, because um, I'm just a few months older than her. Um, <laughs> Right. It's like a miracle. A couple months later, you're getting the next baby. Um, so when she was three years old, uh, people would ask her, what do you want to be when you grow up? You know, and, and of course, right at three years old, you've got a lot of, I want to be a princess. You know, I want to be whatever this that. She always had the same answer. It was, and they, they, I think their jaws would drop a little because at three years old, she'd say, I want to be a picture book illustrator. Oh, <laughs> so, wow. She'd say a children's book illustrator, and um, and I don't think they were expecting that, you know. So she has said that forever, and and then oh, she wow. did pursue art, but she did completely different directions, and um, and then she came back because of her seven-year-old son, and so this has been her lifetime 
career goal. And she does it outside of our collaboration. She does this full time for other people's picture books um, and is a full time illustrator, award winning. She's amazing. That is so cool. Oh my gosh. We're we're so glad to know you, Amanda, especially as our lead singer now, obviously. That just deepens the relationship. Yeah. So weird that we were all in a band together and I never knew that about you. I feel like that's the next book, like Amanda and the Christies and their grand adventures. Exactly. Yeah. I mean May I circle back? That can we can we share what you wanted to be when Yes. I was torn between two options, all right? Mm -hmm. I, Just like Ellie Mae, I wanted to be a uh, belly dancer or a nun. Oh, I, I mean, fair. I wasn't, wow. I wasn't Catholic, but that did not, that was not gonna <laughs> stop my, my dream. So the reason why the two were very difficult to choose between is because I like their outfits equally. And so mm -hmm. I'm sure you can, so different Halloweens, sometimes <laughs> nun, sometimes a belly dancer. <laughs> So that is hysterical. Well, I'll bring that up with the costumer for our next tour. <laughs> you know, see if we can work that into our, yeah, exactly. <laughs> That'll be our, our next book. <laughs> All right, ladies, before we let you go, can you tell us where readers can find out more about this wonderful picture book and about the two of you? Absolutely. So if they go into our websites, of course, and our social media, but for sure our websites, it has a lot more info, um, some interviews and a little bit more about Ellie Mae. So at ChristinaMcMorris.com and your website. Oh, <laughs> pretty sure it's Amanda AmandaYoshida.com. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. Wow, it's a tricky one. <laughs> Not hard. Not hard. I just want to make art, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I can sign up for this. I get it. It's like when we're like, there's we told we're told there'd be no math. <laughs> exactly. All right, ladies. Oh my gosh, we could talk to you all day. Thank you so much for being such wonderful guests. We really, really appreciate you coming on to share your story with us today. Thank you. Thanks for having us. It's so fun. What a fun way to kick off the day. Oh, so fun. And all of you out there, don't forget to tune in every Wednesday right here on Facebook or YouTube for brand new longer form content about books, authors, and the reading and writing worlds. You can find everything about the Friends and Fiction universe from the live show to the podcast, the newsletter to events, information about how to purchase our guests' books to updates from the Friends and Fiction official book club on our website, friendsandfiction.com. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time. <laughs>